So, like, back in May, June, when they have, like, vice presidents, senators, and mayors running for president, mm -hmm. and we have Andrew polling at 1% at the mm -hmm. time, what motivates you to go out and volunteer for a candidate who's only polling at 1%? So this is the second trip today, the first trip we went to India headquarter. Now we're coming to the, the cutting room fundraising. for fundraiser. fascinates me the truck this is the first truck is wrapped uh, with Andrew Young's message I want a shot of that where do I go left left okay. this is pretty crazy yeah I see his truck oh this is fucking truck <laughs> fuck <laughs> look and you fucking young! Wow. <laughs> we made it. Alright, so you asked me to tell you a little bit about myself. We made it! I am Qing Zhuo. My Chinese name is Chen Qing. Oh, what do I think about? This is really amazing. Really amazing. I came to the United States 35 years ago to pursue my musical career. And I think my story is maybe slightly different from others. Dear friend, I have been an Andrew Yen supporter since May 2019. I have also produced 23 short documentary films for the Yen movement. I am live right now. This is in Benford, New Hampshire. Yeah, that, that's, so the, that's my the, career yeah, starts from here. Wearing. May 14th, yeah, I went yeah, to yeah. shoot uh, the rally in uh, Washington Square. We are marching. Woo, NBC. That's me. Beautified a little bit, you know. I'm not that white, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. I have lots of things. I have lots of uh, goodies. So we will give people this. This is Andrian's card. Business card has the policies on it. Is this Spanish version? Uh, oh, this is uh, English. So we have English and Spanish version. And then we have bumper sticker, yeah, buttons, so many things. The good thing is about this, Yangan is so obnoxious, it's so big. People start to ask me, say, what's this? I say, oh, this is Andrew Yan, have you heard about that? And then start, I give them the car, you know, I give them the sticker. And I told them who Andrew Yan was. Yeah, that's called Yanning. <laughs> well, that's why I'm trying to just get involved. And yeah, nation exactly. To yeah, that exactly. Way. And then today we're learning how to do my fundraising. Okay. We set up a fundraising. Then I met Young Gan, New York Young Gan. It's like I really miss them. If I don't see them, I want to see them. Give twenty-five dollars or more, and it will be returned back to you in dividends. Oh, One thousand no. dollars. Oh no! Oh my God! Brooklyn Young Gan. Not, 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 not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have the best merch. Yeah. We have the best, best merch. Yeah. This is a, my husband. 
I yend my husband first. <laughs> so it is a yend there. We're organizing a silent art auction for Andrew mm. Yang. The How other about campaign, the other campaign? I want to know because I almost like a, I want to clone my fucking self, you know? Oh yeah. And go to diff different, <laughs> you know, different campaign to see how they do it. Exactly. Well, I see this is a enormous movement. You know, Black Lives yes. Matter and Asians yeah. together. Yes. Together. This is Asian. new. Asian. If we can get the what Asians to come out and vote. Chinese. I teach in college, and then as a matter of fact, I, I quit. I, I wanted to devote my whole time to to Yan movement. Oh. Any voters here? Come in. Democrat, Republican, any independent? Are you an American and do you like money? <laughs> you went down. One thing is that just that the future will not look the same. Thousand dollars for everybody. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars a month. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand. I mean, why not? Why not, right? We'll why not? With why thousand. start with a thousand? <laughs> let's let's go big. Let's go big. Ten thousand. Why don't you just give everybody a million? Just say. Just go ahead and spend it. Our economy will do great, won't it? It's not like he could have chosen more than a thousand. He could have. Why? Why didn't he? He's going to start with a thousand, right? He's going to say, "Oh, let's start with a thousand. Let, give me elected first, right? Give me elected first at a thousand dollars. Give me elected first. You saying it's a bribe? Give me are elected you say, first. Are you saying it's a bribe? Yes, sir. It's not a bribe. Okay. It's something to lift the people that are on the bottom. Really, so if you put succeed, on the if you succeed in America, if you succeed in America, you get educated, you develop a company, you succeed in America. By God, that success needs to be handed out to the whole world and the whole nation, doesn't it? They need to spend that for all those people that are doing their bit. The reason I'm so excited about Andrew, about what this could mean for the country is because I feel like it seems like the world is getting darker and darker. Do you agree? We have so much uh, poverty in this country. We're supposed to be the richest country in the world, but we're not. We go out to bomb people. With one bomb money, you can save lots of uh, homeless people. So the priority, I think, it's not straight in this country. If you go to Midwest, or if you just go to Brooklyn, deep east of Brooklyn, you'll see so much poverty. People are so fucked up, I'm telling you. When companies like Facebook and Uber, they make self-driving cars and displace a lot of workers, where's that profit going? So he's saying it should go right back in your hands so you can invest it back in your community. Andrew Yang, President. Um, it has to be this, this coming 2020. Yeah, volunteer tonight. Uh, we're, we're trying to, if you're interested, we need 5,000 signatures to get on the ballot in New York State. I don't really feel any prior politicians speaks for Asian American or speak to me. I was never this passionately following anybody. Now I'm going to speak to the Asian Americans. Many of you are Asian. I can't really precisely see from the silhouette. <laughs> but as a as a numbers. Guy, I also want to be frank about our community. I live in the community, co-op community in Upper West Side, and we have about more than actually 150 uh, Chinese families. Guess how many Yan Gan is in my community? Is actively Yanning. Pretty much just me. We vote less than other groups. But I'm gonna go specifically towards Asian American. We donate money less than other groups. How you doing? Would you like a cigarette? All right, have a great day. How you doing, Andrew Yang? Search him up. Google Andrew Yang. How you doing? Search him up. How you doing, Andrew Yang? Search him up. Oh, he whipped out the phone. We run for office less than other groups. Damn. What was that? He said that uh, we need diversity in the volunteers. We're all Asian. Oh. We are a political afterthought in this country. If you have a group of white supporters doing, supporting a white candidate, but you wouldn't ask the same question. And why, why is that? 
Do I, do I look? Yes. Kelly, I hope. Hey, <laughs> if you win, I'd be like, I shook his hand <laughs> on Halloween. I remember you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is why America is not ready for, oh wait, no, America should be ready for Asian president. Asians have not been involved, therefore they're seen as a invisible and silent minority. They don't have to be Yangan, but my very close Chinese friends, they kind of like avoid me, you know, avoid me talking to them about engineer. When I was 14 or so, uh, my dad was a physicist for IBM. But there was one time when he came back home and he was really angry. He was mad and I was like, wow, dad seems mad, why are you mad? And he said something to me I'll never forget. He said, at IBM, when you can't invent anything anymore, they make you a manager. Mm. And so he said, there were a bunch of Asians in the lab and then a bunch of uh, white managers managing them. That's true. And I don't know if he was right, you know, I was 14. But I remember internalizing this sense then that Asians are allowed to become this successful in this country, but we're not allowed to become this successful. It's true. Mm. And there was a very high-level Democratic official who said to a friend of mine that Asian Americans are regarded as a low-level ATM. CNBC enlisting all the candidates here. Here are you as Yang, but they put up a picture of a guy named Jeff Yang. And John Yang living his best life. Uh... Can you imagine if they just screwed up another candidate's name? Like, would they ever say, like, Frank Biden or Sandra Warren? And I was like, you know, that never would happen. <laughs>Do you think America is ready for an Asian president? No. <laughs> I don't think so. They didn't think Asian, you know, can go this far. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think a majority of people are ready, but... Since I've been in the United States for like 35 years and I have never really did anything like uh, for campaign, for presidential campaign. And I'm not that politically sensitive until now. Because I have a 19-year-old son, at least the past 19 years, I haven't been busy being a parent. A lot of parents, they don't talk about politics. They talk about how to get their children get the best education get the best school, go to the Ivy League school, and very little conversation about how to make our country better. If you really care about America, if you really care about the future of your kids, to be involved in politics or to be proud, a Asian person is on stage. So there are a number of things we can do about this, New York City. Number one, we can become a high-level ATM. <laughs> but number two, we can start investing our energies and our support in the candidates that we believe in. Buttons. Grab, grab your cars. Yeah, grab, grab your cars. Let's, let's yen them. Let's yen, okay? Yen my neighbors, which I hesitate to yen myself. Now with the yen gang here, let's you just go courage. down. And then people are saying, what is this? You know, what is this? You know, they, they may ask. And then we say, what are the well, party? we're Yengans. You haven't proved anything, though. You haven't proved anything, though. Would you have a thousand dollars bring them back up again? It'll at least give them a foot up to make it successful. Uh, again. I don't we appreciate, we appreciate your feedback. Thank you for engaging yeah. with us. Yeah. We definitely, the, the, those points are well taken. Thank you. Or if you can just explore that a little bit more, if, if you know, if you ever change a part. You know. Yeah. Because uh, he, does, he does want to build bridges and yeah. you know, engage with different sides, even if they don't agree. It's uh, Alabama. So you know Alabama's very conservative. You know, it's, it's a different world than uh, New York, you know? Absolutely. But, Absolutely.
But you're still part of the country. That's I mean, right. We're still, we're still fellow citizens. That's right. right? That's right. So, That's right. We should work together, right? And we, should not we should have a common ground. But you know what's dividing the country? Everybody's like division. This Trump supporter, this gung ho Trump supporter is thinking Andrew Yang is the Pence. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily think he's the Pence. I just don't think his views necessarily match up with mine. You know what I mean? So, Fundraising for Andrew That's the thing. That's like the fuel of the campaign, basically. The way that the rules are set up. No money, it's money, no money. Presidency. There's no presidency. Yeah. Ask me how much money I have given. How much money have you given to Andrew Yang's campaign, Ching? I have given altogether $4,000. That's maxed out and then some. I treat this Yen thing more serious every day with my skill, with my passion, I think I can make difference. Uh, I want to make the wheel moving a little faster. So that's how I feel. Are you having fun? I'm having so much fun. I'm having so much fun. Yeah, I'm having so I met so many wonderful people. Andrew what the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 let's go. Like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. When I say yang, you say gang. Yang. 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 When I say yang, you say gang. Yang. 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 I had a couple of visions for this campaign. One was that I was going to make the debate stage. And I thought to myself, wouldn't it be great for the Asian American community to have an Asian American on that stage? Because I remember growing up in this country and thinking about what we saw of ourselves. And I imagine being a younger version of myself and turning on the TV and seeing an Asian man standing on that stage and saying, this is totally normal. Asians run for president. That there is no limit to what we can accomplish in this country that we are just as good and just as American as anyone else. Though thousands of voters came out for our campaign tonight, tonight is not the outcome we fought so hard to achieve. You know I am the math guy, and it is clear tonight from the numbers that we are not going to win this race. I am not someone who wants to accept donations and support in a race that we will not win. And so tonight, I am announcing I am suspending my campaign for president. We love you, Andrew! Yeah, I think this looks like we're coping pretty well with the suspension. <laughs> a couple of us may still be going through some, you know, uh, some, some stages, yeah, with some withdrawal. But tonight, yeah, we're going to learn about some of the other initiatives going on, how we can be part of a larger movement to continue. I'm Jonathan Herzog, I am Yang Yang, and I'm running for Congress. This is more than just one campaign that is a movement. Shaking hands, giving out hugs, telling people about universal basic income being online, letting people know. That's when I met Fulton. It was like 8 in the morning, right? Fulton, where is Andrew Yang? We're all Andrew Yang. <laughs>